Hey, Mo, what's on your mind? Conference tournaments are on my mind, specifically my boy Lance McAllister's take on them. Every year, Lance McAllister stands out as a stick in the mud who doesn't like my favorite week on the sports calendar. Now, look, I'll give you this. There are instances of unfairness every year this week. Really good team from a really crappy conference loses in the first round or even in the final of their conference tournament, and they don't get to go to the NCAAs. Sorry. Uh, I get that it might diminish the meaningfulness of the regular season. The regular season's meaningfulness is already diminished. Don't know why it took me so long to spit out that sentence. But when I think of conference tournaments, I think of when I was a kid, and I think of field trips. Remember when you went on field trips as a kid? You would go to, you know, the art museum. No kid likes the art museum. We went, we went to the Graham Cracker Factory. I, I couldn't care less about the Graham Cracker Factory. Except it was a big deal because it was wasn't classes. It wasn't sitting in a room listening to a teacher go on and on and on. You got to go see people and what they did. Yeah, you got to ride on a bus. You got to go maybe go eat somewhere. That was all exciting, and it was something that you didn't ever get a chance to do. It broke up the monotony of your, of your school day. It broke up the monotony of what you did during the day. Conference tournaments are the same way. Now, sometimes you get bad games, but, you know, I watched Miami and Akron play basketball today. Pretty thrilling double overtime affair. The Zips won it by seven points. I don't know that ordinarily I'm watching that game, and ordinarily during the day, uh, there's nothing else on TV. But during the day, during championship week, for four weekdays, there's basketball. I'm a basketball junkie. And so if there's something that gives me a chance to watch basketball, games played with meaning, games played where teams are desperate to get in, games that are played and then the, the outcome has me is trying to scramble to figure out what it means for that team and for uh, the other teams around the country that might be on the bubble, that's fun to me. That's exciting. Some of these games aren't great. I don't know that ordinarily I'm watching some of them or play, paying really close attention to them. But ordinarily during the day I'm watching really bad game shows, uh, screaming sports writers on ESPN, or cable TV news people yelling at each other. Uh, but during conference championship week, uh, I'm watching basketball. And anything that has me watching basketball, much like anything that would keep me away from school if I'm a 10-year-old, can't be a bad thing. This is my favorite week on the sports calendar. I would contend it's even better than next week. And I'm pretty excited about next week, especially because the Bearcats are going to be in it. Uh, if you have a topic suggestion for one Mo thing, or if you, even if you want to chime in on this, shoot me an email, mo at ESPN1530.com, or send me a tweet. I'm on Twitter, at moegger1530.